welcome to Math Made Fun. The short and simple answer is... No, 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 no! Oh, no, 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 If you look at a graph of these two functions on either a calculator at home or on this video, you'll notice that the two functions look identical. And you might be thinking that this means, yes, the two functions are equal. Now, the reason they're not actually equal is because when a program makes a graph, what it does is it picks a bunch of numbers in the range of numbers you choose as your window. For example, negative 10 to positive 10, as I've done here. And it just randomly starts picking numbers, like maybe negative 10, negative 9.5, negative 9.25, negative 9, and it just slowly works its way across. And as it does, it makes dots every single time. It moves a little distance, and then it tries to connect all the dots with a line. And that's more or less how a graphing calculator works. The problem is there's sometimes some numbers for which this function is not valid for, but it can figure out what the number is just before and just after. So it more or less guesses what the right answer is, and simply connects the two closest dots. So you might have been emphatically looking at this graph and thinking, oh, the answer can't be no. The answer must be... Yes! 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 This may have been even more confusing for you if you're fairly good at algebra. If you look at the top, you can see that there's an x in both terms. So if you wish to, you can factor out that x, and then you'll see you have x times x minus 1, and that there's both an x minus 1 on the top and the bottom, and your initial thought might be, oh, I'll just cross these off, and now I have f of x is equal to x, g of x is equal to x, oh, f of x is equal to g of x. But that's not- Oh no! No! No, 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 actually the case because there's a very special case of f equals 1. If you go ahead and throw 1 in for both functions, you notice that the bottom function, g of x, just becomes 1, and that the top function is actually undefined because you end up with a case where you have a 0 in the denominator. So if you go back to that previous algebra step, you would have actually needed to carry over a range for the function of 0, or of that the function is valid from negative infinity to 0, and then 0 to negative infinity, not including the endpoints on the range. Just before ending this video, I'd like to cover one more thing, which is, have you ever walked into a test and thought this test might as well be in Chinese? Or thought... What the fuck? Yeah, that. So watch out for these problems here. They're probably the only way that a professor might be able to make the questions a little challenging. Uh, one of these is the same function and one of these is not the same function. But you'll see different variations on this theme here.